kind of smells like a sexy vampire. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a huge Bath and Body Works haul for you guys. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, every single week. And during the fall time and Christmas time, which are my favorite times of year, I typically have an abundance of videos. So I will most likely have multiple uploads throughout the week so trust me you don't want to miss out alrighty so without further ado let's get started okay there are so many things I don't even know where to start I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the candles alrighty so the first couple of candles are actually for my husband um, and these are the aromatherapy stress relief candles he loves this scent it's very calming very relaxing let's see the notes are eucalyptus and spearmint so if you kind of want an at-home spa day this is the scent for you very relaxing very calming um he lights it pretty much uh before bed like almost every day poor guy but <laughs> yeah he really really likes the scent this would actually make a really great gift if you have like a workaholic in your family this would be perfect just saying and i do have um fall candles coming up so not to worry. Let's see. This next one is also stress relief, but it is the eucalyptus tea scent and um, It is part of their aromatherapy line. The fragrance notes are zesty grapefruit chamomile tea fresh eucalyptus and uh, with essential oils, so mm, it Smells actually really good really fresh. It's like a fresh stress relief very nice I actually love this one. Maybe even better than the original stress relief. The next one is called Rose Vanilla. And it, I really like the packaging on this one. Very pretty. I like that little bit of metallic print right here. Mm, this smells really good. This would be really good for like bath time. Pink rose petals, dewy peony, sweet vanilla with essential oils. Perfect for Valentine's Day, I feel. And of course, we had to get our favorite candle. My husband and I both love the mahogany teakwood scent, which is probably their most popular one. It smells so good. It smells like a sexy man, <sighs> like, like a cologne smell, you know? Very, very nice. And this one is actually the high intensity one, but I love the packaging, this matte black. I loved it, so I had to have it. It has rich mahogany, black teak wood, dark oak, and frosted lavender with natural essential oils. This next one is the complete opposite of that one in terms of packaging. It's a matte, but it's very white, as you can see. And it is the white gardenia scent. The notes are classic white gardenia, fresh picked greenery, sweet apple, white tuberose with natural essential oils. Oh, it smells so good. Like a jasmine gardenia flower bed or something flower garden if you like floral scents you will love this candle okay so we're slowly getting into the fall scents um this one is called cozy cashmere and i think this is new i've never seen this scent before i actually really liked the packaging on this one this color is just everything and even even the name cozy cashmere just sounds really nice and fancy the notes are smooth lavender warm vanilla pink jasmine comforting sandalwood with natural essential oils oh my gosh and i love like anything that smells like jasmine the jasmine flower and it, but I don't really pick up too much on that, but there's something about this I love. Next up, we have this very bright but matte packaging again, and this is the Pumpkin Spice Latte. I love pumpkin scented candles. See, this one has pumpkin pie spice, freshly brewed espresso, homemade whipped cream, sprinkling of cinnamon sugar with natural essential oils. That just sounds delicious, doesn't it? <sighs> yeah. I love it. If you are a PSL lover, then you might really enjoy this. Next up, we have pumpkin carving. I love the packaging on these this year. It looks like a fancy wallpaper and I love it. These are actually little jack-o'-lanterns, but I love it. 
The smell is everything. This is the best pumpkin scent so far that I've smelled from Bath & Body Works. Notes are freshly carved pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds, smooth brown sugar with natural essential oils. So I actually ended up getting two of them and I like the lid detail, very cool. So I was planning on maybe using the lids as coasters or something because I really like the design, very nice. So there's two of them. And then I also got the Haunted Nights candle. Uh, I actually got two of those as well. This one smells so amazing. This one also kind of reminds me of a men's cologne. It kind of smells like a sexy vampire living in a really rich mansion or something. That's the best I can describe it. I have a way with words, I know, but uh, <laughs> let's see the fragrance notes. Um, scary Clary Sage, Moonlit Mahogany, Vanishing Verbena, Verbena? Verbena? with natural essential oils. Oh, I love this one. I also ended up getting one of those car visor clips. This is actually for my husband. He actually wanted one for his car. And this is just like a very plain, but metallic one. He wanted like a straight up, just plain matte black one, but I don't know, the matte black didn't look that great. And I usually love matte black, but this one, this one looks better, so. Got this one, and we got three of the mahogany teakwood little refills for the car thing. I also wanted to try out the soaps that Bath & Body Works has, which I never thought I would, but I was just, I don't know. I, <sighs> fall time just has me going like crazy, and I want everything, anything pumpkin. So, but I didn't, surprisingly, I didn't get everything pumpkin. I wanted a little bit of variety. So the first one is called Crisp Morning Air. Fresh pine, juniper, and juicy pear is what it says. And this one also smells amazing. Um, this is called Oceanfront Garden. And it is salted orchid, beach grass, and lemon zest. Then I got the aromatherapy eucalyptus and tea, the same as the candle. This next one is called Rosewater and Ivy. I actually have the candle of this and it smells amazing. This has uh, rose, soft rose petals, rain-kissed ivy, and spring musk. This next one is called Perfect Pumpkin. And it, it let's see, it has carved pumpkin, spooky cinnamon, and moonlight vanilla. And I really like this matte top. It's very nice. And the last one is called Pumpkin Cupcake, which I love the candle for pumpkin cupcake, so I wanted to try out the soap. And the notes on this one is baked pumpkin, whipped vanilla frosting, and golden honey. That sounds delicious. All right, so we're done with all the candles and the soaps and everything. Now moving on to the fun stuff, which are the pedestals. I don't even know how this got in there. All right, well, this is nail polish remover. This is not from Bath & Body Works. I think this is from Target. And this is lavender scented, in case you're wondering, by Onyx. This is nice, it's purple, very spooky. <laughs> spooky nail polish remover, but um, not what I wanted to show you. Let me just pull everything out. All right, so this first item my sister actually got me. Um, I was looking everywhere for this little guy and it was sold out everywhere. And it is this little pocket back holder. He's like a little pumpkin spice drink, <laughs> so cute. He retails for $5.95. Let me show you what he looks like with a pocket back. You just put it like that and use the hand sanitizer like so. Very cute and yeah, it comes with like a little clip so you can clip it on your purse or backpack or whatever. So adorable. So the next thing is this little black cat which I thought was so cute. Look at him. Uh, this retails for $8.95 and it's actually like a little decoration for your candles. <laughs> Let me just show you real quick. It kind of just hooks onto your candle like that. I know, so unnecessary, but so cute. And you can use it for decorating like a tiered tray or something, which is what I'm planning on using it for, but we'll see. Next, we have this wall plug-in, which is so cool. I actually love haunted houses, not going into haunted houses, no, I, I would never, but um, I like the architecture of those kind of houses. I am really into architecture and it just looks really cool. And so I saw this and I was like, that's actually really cool. And my husband was like, oh my gosh, look at this little guy. 
he's winking. And that's when I knew I had to have this. This one was pretty expensive though, okay? It was, I don't know, I think it was like $37 or something like that. Something crazy, but it does light up. Um, when you plug it in, it shows like these little bats. It's actually pretty cool, but still very pricey. But I love it. I especially love this little guy right here. He's my favorite. And now we have the pedestals. So if you guys have been following um, Bath and Body Works and you know like all the crazy stuff that's been happening with their pedestals, they have like a hand that has been sold out and people have been going crazy over that. And there have been people like buying out all the pedestals and trying to resell them for like crazy amounts of money. But I was able to find a couple. The first one is this one and it is a tilted dripping pedestal you know i don't know i kind of like it It looks very metallic like the entire thing is metallic super cool this one was 39.95 and i love i don't know it reminds me of alice in wonderland for some reason this kind of little topsy-turvy situation happening here so yeah that's why i got it alice in wonderland anything that reminds me of disney and this last one is by far my favorite pedestal ever. Even my husband liked it and he just like hates decor or anything like that. So it's this little guy. It's like a little bust, like a tuxedo waiter bust. Very, very nice. This material is like felt and um, even the buttons, everything, all the details were so spectacular. I love this. And this retails for $49.95 <laughs> and your candle actually goes right on top here like so but I have been seeing people um, take these pedestals and put like a little jack-o-lantern or a pumpkin or something so it kind of looks like a the headless horseman but um, yeah <laughs> just if you need any ideas you know just let, letting you know but I love this I love the look of this it looks so fancy it doesn't even look Halloween-y to me. I feel like it looks very, I don't know, like it would look good in an office or a study or something. Alrighty guys, so that is it for this mega Bath & Body Works haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know your favorite scent at Bath & Body Works. Are there any fall scents that I missed out on? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!